like why did God send prophets to humanity? He sent prophets to humanity to tell them something, yeah. right? They're called they're called anbiya, right? They they convey a message, right? Um, when the message has been conveyed, then a person can conceal the truth. But when a message has not been conveyed or it's been conveyed in a way that's not sound, there's nothing for them to cover because they haven't been informed. So for example, if, I, if you tell me it's raining and I go, I, I either I agree with you or I don't agree with you. If I agree with you, but I don't want you to know that, I'll say, no, it's not. That's kufr. I've covered the truth. But if you, if you say to me, if you, if you come up to me and you go, why did you disbelieve in the fact that it was raining? And I go, you never told me it was raining. I'm not covering up anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I might think it's a sunny day outside. Am I at fault for that? Yeah, it's not true, but am I at fault for that? That's the difference. Right. Yeah. And there's going to be people who follow the message. Yeah. Okay? So the people who ridicule, like, okay, this person's like trying to tell us, like, what we should be doing, like, you know, so it's on, like, the straight path or whatever. Mm. But they, like, don't want to, whether because, like, maybe they, you know, they're arrogant or, like, right. whatever or, reasons. Just typically whatever, you know, so oh. I mean, it's not good. Oh. So they would be, like, kufa. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's kufa. Because, like, they know, like, they might know, like, okay, this is, like, a sound message, but I don't want to do it because. That's exactly why the Quraysh, like the, 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 the tribe of the Prophet, peace upon him, they rejected him because they didn't want to give up their lifestyle. Yeah, like, I mean, they knew like, the message was sound and it was like a good like, path to go. Yep. But like, they, didn't, you know, they didn't want to give the charity or like, have to like, nah. pray for a day. Uh, none of that. But more importantly, they didn't want to give up the idolatry because that's how they made their money. Uh, Mecca, was a, Mecca was a tourist. Yeah. They had no reason to disbelieve him, yeah. but they just when he, when he, when he called them to do something, for example, had had he just prayed himself, they would never they 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 left they would leave him alone. But when he called them to action and to stop doing things, they had a problem because it meant they had to change their lifestyle, even though they knew their lifestyle was kind of like messed up. So my question is, is like a group of someone who literally like knows that like what they should be doing, but chooses to do it for whatever other reason. That's a kafir. A kafir is someone who knows and is just going to do something else. Like a hypocrite. No. Nope. Hypocrite is different. A hypocrite is someone who pretends like he believes, but he really doesn't. But, okay. like, he's also a kafir, yes. But I'm saying, but he presents the idea that he's with you, but he's not. And the reason why that happened is because when the Muslims went to Medina, now there's benefit for, to be a Muslim. There's benefits now. You know, if I'm a Muslim, then you'll do business with me, you'll trade with me, I'll have your protection. So, I'll, yeah, 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 I believe. But on the inside... <laughs> could care less whether or not Islam succeeds or fails. Yeah. 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 So he says, um Fi Qal bin Sani, but Shaitanu Insi Yati as Shaitanu ala Surati Sadiqan Lak. Uh Yuhsinu Lak al Kabiha Hatsa Yajuraka Ilay. So the the Shaitan from amongst people now He'll, this shaitan comes to you in the form of a friend, someone you confide in, a sadiq, someone you confide in. And he makes, he beautifies that which is uh, ugly for you. And he, and he pulls you towards it. So something which you and he both know are wrong. He doesn't want to be, for example, alone in what he's doing, so he likes to give you the idea that it's actually a good thing, for example. You know, he's having a bad day, decides he wants to smoke crack. <laughs> Comes to you and he's like, come on, man. Don't, don't leave me. You are, yeah, I know, I know it's bad, it's bad. But you don't want to leave me by myself. How are you going to leave me by myself in this? I thought we were bosom buddies. We're like, you know, we did the thing. We cut our fingers and we did the blood. We're blood brothers now. Yeah. <laughs> right? What has he done? He's made something which is ugly, uh, uh, beautiful. No, no, if you do this, then we're really brothers now. We both have the same condition. You don't want to leave by myself. Surah Tani. Surah Al-Ula. Ma dhukira fiha wa ma dhukira fiha illa ism wahid. Now, here's two surahs. This is an interesting part. This is the end of the tafsir. He says there are two, two surahs. The first surah, 
um, there is mentioned one name. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقِ وَمَنْ شَرِّ غَاسِلِكَنْ إِذَا وَقَبْ There's one name mentioned, which is what? One name of Allah. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ I seek refuge in the Rabb of the dawn. One name is mentioned. How many evils come after it? مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ إِلَى So there's one name from the name of Allah. Names of Allah. وَاسْتَعِيذُ بِذَلِكَ الْإِسْمِ مِنْ شُرُورٍ كَثِيرًا And by that one name, many refuge from many evils is sought. بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ الرَّبُّ فَقَتْ مَنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ وَمَنْ شَرِّ غَاسِكٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ وَمَنْ شَرِّ النَّفَثَاتِ فِي الْأُقَرِ وَمَنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدْ وَهَذِهِ صُورَةُ ذَكَرَ فِيهَا ثَلَاثَةُ أَسْمَا Now this one in Surah An-Nas there is, there are three names of God mentioned. And how many things are we seeking refuge from? Well, listen. وَهَذِهِ صُورَةُ ذَكَرَ فِيهَا ثَلَاتَ أَسْمَاء مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ اللَّهِ Three names from God's names. الرب, رب الناس. الملك, ملك الناس. إله, which is Allah. So you have the Lord, you have the King, and you have the God of, of human beings. وَاسْتِعْذَانُ مِنْ شَرٍ وَاحِدٍ And you're seeking refuge from one thing. It's just one thing. Three names for one thing. In Surah Al-Falaq, you have one name for many things. In Surah Al-Nas, Three names from one thing. Arba'atu shurur. There's four evils mentioned. Isti'adun minha bismin wahid. Four things, one name as refuge. Washarru wahid isti'adanum bithalatati asma'. And then in this surah, again, surah al nas, the, the opposite is happening. Lianna shurur, alati, fi surah al mutakadima, shururun dunyawiya. The reason why this is, Shaykh, Shaykh Ibrahim says, is because the evil that happens in the previous surah are all evils that are related to the world. They're dunyawi evils. They're evils that are related to the world of this life. The life of this, the life of this world. مَضَرَّتُهَا فِي الدُّنْيَا فَقَتْ And its harm is only in this world. وَالشَّرُّ فِي هَذِهِ surah شَرٌ دِينِي and the evil that is in this surah is a religious evil. فَلِهَذَا صَارَ الْإِحْتِمَانَ بِهِ أَوْلَى مِنْ غَيْرِهِ And for that reason, the uh, importance and the focus and the attention that is in it is more intense than the previous ones. مِنْ غَيْرِهِ فَاسْتَجَرْتَ بِاسْمِ الرَّبِّ بِاسْمِ الْمَلِكِ بِاسْمِ اللَّهِ تَطْلُبُ سَنَامَةً مِنْ شَرِّ الشَّيْطَانِ فَقَدْ And you're, you're going you're to use the names of God, the names of Rabb, the names of Al-Malik, and the name Allah itself, the name Allah is so intense because the name Allah comprises every other name. So basically what you did is you said, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِالْرَبِّ الناس. You're seeking Allah, uh, refuge in Allah with the name Rabb. You're seeking refuge in Allah with the name Malik, and then you're going to go ahead and use all the other 99 names. Because Allah points to all the 99. You want, and you want peace from the evil of shaitan only. You just want to have peace. You're using everything you got to have peace from one thing. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, I'm in a tafsir class with, with uh, everybody at Lighthouse Masjid. We're reading from Bayes Tafsir. Yeah, hold on. Uh, everyone say Assalamu alaikum. Yusuf, say Assalamu alaikum. This is uh, Brother Yusuf, he's in Chicago. He says salam to you. I gotta go, man. Alright, bro. Alright, uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, Assalamu alaikum. وأيضا ذكر في هذه سورة رب الناس. and also in this سورة he mentions the Lord of people. ذكر الناس ثلاث مرات. he says ناس. he says humanity three times. رب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس لأن الإنسان له أطوار. and the reason why Allah mentions human beings three times is because humans have three different modes or stages or groupings. بنو آدم ثلاثة أقسام. The son of man, 
the son of Adam is of three types. Sigarun yahtajun al tarbiyati. The first one is the child who needs who needs uh, to be brought up. He needs to have an upbringing. Washaban aqwiyau yahtajun li malikin yasusuhum. And then you have youth who are strong and they need someone to give them a foundation to ground them. They need someone. They need a king to ground them. وَكِبْرِيَاءُ إِبَادٌ رَجَعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ يَفْتَرِكُونَ إِلَى 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 إِلَاهٍ يَعْبُدُونَ And then you have elders. These are the slaves of God who have returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're impoverished towards Him and they need Him. They need, uh, they, they are, they need Him to worship Him. فَذَكَرَ فِي صُورَةِ أَنَّهُ رَبَّ النَّاسِ And He mentioned, by, uh, Allah ta'ala mentioned that He is the Lord of people. الصبيو الصغير لا 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 تخف عليه فإن له ربا يربيه. And so therefore the 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 child, the little one, is not to be feared on because they have someone to bring them up. Now also realize this: Allah is not just talking about children; He's talking about people who are who are immature in their spirituality as well. You have people that are 45, 50 years old who are children in their spirituality. They literally have no, they're, they're, they're literally toddlers. And they do everything that toddlers do, including go in their pants. <laughs> they can't help it. They're kids. They make terrible spiritual blunders because they're not developed inside. No problem. There's a Rabb who's going to bring them up in tarbiyah. Malik al Nas, al Shab al Qawi al Taghi, la yajtabiru, fa inna lahu malikan. Jabbaran Allah tabarak wa ta'ala And then you have for the, for the one who is You can say in the, in the prime of their life Or in the prime of the spiritual life even They're strong but they're also rebellious They're rebellious, they're strong, they have power And now they can start to do things Right? La, they don't, they're not going to com, They're not going to uh, compel other people. Why? Because they have a lord, a, they have a king, a king who's going to be a compeller upon them. In other words, he gives them a foundation. He brings them, in other words, you and I mess up a lot in, our, in, our, in the prime of our life. We have a lot of ability, we have a lot of power, and we make a lot of mistakes. And that's why we get smacked down hard. You don't see, Allah, Allah doesn't do that to old people, for example. You know, old people, you don't see them, generally speaking, unless they have a some need in, in, inside. Allah is very kind and merciful to them. But for young people, people in the middle age, they hear crazy stories, how they became Muslim, for example. Oh, man. All right, I was driving in this car, and I was, <laughs> was going to sell this weed, right? And I was on the way, and you know, I lost control of the vehicle. Next thing I know, I was flying out of the car, right? I went through the windshield, and I, when I woke up, I was in front of the car, and there was a cop in front of me. And before I went out of the windshield... My friend had, uh, he had a, a, a story, he had a, 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 an Arabic calligraphy, it said La ilaha illallah. That was the last thing I remember seeing before I flew out the window. So I actually became a Muslim because that's the last thing that I saw and the last thing that I remembered. And it's the first thing I thought about when I, you know, when I came, when I came to or whatever. You know, that's based on a true story that actually happened to someone. And they'll remain anonymous. <laughs> but it's true. Like Allah wouldn't do that to a kid. You don't, really, you don't hear that much. They wouldn't even be able to benefit from all of that so much. And for older people, you know, it's just... In other words, he's the Rabb. He's the Malik also. So he says... Uh, the, then he says here, Ilahu nas The God of people. Now the Shaykh mentioned something very, very uh, beautiful. And he says that this is manifested. The God of human beings is brought... Made a reality to people. By way, he says, "A Shaykh al-Kabir, al-ladhi raja in Allah yabudhu, yalamu anna lahu ilah, yastahik al-ibada." That it's through the a, a a a it's through, or this is in the case of a person who has realized uh, the, their old age. They've realized their old age. They've realized they've come into old age. Whether it be in physically or whether it be in, 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 in spirituality. 
they realize I am the slave of God. Exactly why the Quraysh, like the, 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 the tribe of the Prophet, peace upon him, they rejected him because they didn't want to give up their lifestyle. Yeah, like, I mean, they knew like, the message was sound and it was like, a good like, path to go yep. Nah, uh, none of that. But more importantly, they didn't want to give up the idolatry because that's how they made their money. Uh, Mecca was a Mecca was a tourist. Yeah, they had no reason to disbelieve him. Yeah. But they just when he, when he, when he. I mean, because so like, like Allah sends down like a messenger, and then like there's people who like ridicule the messenger. Yeah. And there's gonna be people who follow the messenger. Yeah. Right, whatever reasons. Just typically whatever, you know, oh. I mean, not good. Oh. So they would be like, kufr. Yeah. Like, okay. That's kufr. Because, like, they know, like, they might know, like, okay, this is, like, a sound message, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to give away my money or, like, I don't want to, like, That's a, society not to. Like, why did God send prophets to humanity? He sent prophets to humanity to tell them something. Yeah. Right? They're called, they're called anbiya, right? They, they convey a message, Right? Um, when the message has been conveyed, then a person can conceal the truth. But when a message has not been conveyed or it's been conveyed in a way that's not sound, there's nothing for them to cover because they haven't been informed. So for example, if, I, if you tell me it's raining and I go, I, I either I agree with you or I don't agree with you, he called them to do something. For example, had, had he just prayed himself, they would, never, they, they, they left, they would leave him alone. But when he called them to action and to stop doing things, they had a problem because it meant they had to change their lifestyle. Even though they knew their lifestyle was kind of like messed up. So my question is, is like a kufr someone who literally like knows that like what they should be doing but refuses to do it for whatever other reason? That's a kafir. A kafir is someone who knows and is just going to do something else. Like a hypocrite. No. Nope. Hypocrite is different. A hypocrite is someone who pretends like he believes. If I agree with you but I don't want you to know that, I'll say, no, it's not. That's kufr. I've covered the truth. But if you, if you say to me, if you, if you come up to me and you go, why did you disbelieve in the fact that it was raining? And I go, you never told me it was raining. I'm not covering up anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I might think it's a sunny day outside. Am I at fault for that? Yeah, it's not true, but am I at fault for that? That's the difference. Right?